chapter 24 chemistry theory video 4 uh, ligands and complex formation is what we are going to uh, figure out uh, now earlier we learned you uh, heard the word ligands if you are not familiar with uh, with ligands now so now it's your opportunity to learn about those things now um, in the earlier redox reactions we learned that um, if you two plus uh, ions uh, in its solution form uh, would be oxidized to Fe3 plus ions. So for this, uh, when this is uh, when this is happening, um, this uh, aqueous Fe2 plus ions, they have uh, they have made they have made a dative uh, covalent bonds or coordinate bonds. Uh, uh, where the ion Fe2 plus ion uh, is actually uh, connected by a dative coordinate bond uh, with six oxygen atoms of uh, water. So six water molecules would uh, perform uh, uh, dative or coordinate bonds for, uh, with, uh, with these Fe2 plus ion. And when that happens, we call these kind of molecules ligands, which makes dative uh, coordinate bonds. And the resulting uh, ion is called a complex ion. Now, when you take uh, this, uh, this particular uh, ion, it is F FeH2O6 uh, 2 plus. And uh, it has an octahedral uh, shape because there are uh, it, it is con connected to six water molecules. Um, so um, uh, the ligands have the quality of being able to donate a pair of uh, electrons to a central transition metal ion. So to a central, there is a tran central transition metal ion. To that, uh, ligands can donate a pair of electrons. So that is how the dative or the coordinate bond is made. Uh, the coordination number is the of a complex is the number of co uh, dative or coordinate bonds uh, to the central metal ion. Then there are uh, some ligands who can form two uh, or two coordinate or dative bonds uh, from um, uh, but, you know when attached to a transition metal line. We call these bidentate ligands. Uh, but most of the uh, ligands, such as water and ammonia, they can form only one coordinate uh, or dative bond. And they are called monodentate ligands. Monodentate ligands. Um, so now, uh, now when you have uh, uh, when you have a uh, nickel and cyanide complex, nickel and cyanide complex. Uh, when there would be uh, now cyanide is a larger uh, molecule larger ligand therefore it can only f uh, it can only form uh, four ligands it can connect only four so it would be arranged in a square planar shape uh, as in nickel cyanide complex or a tetrahedral as in cobalt chloride COCl4 uh, complex um, now uh, this one uh, this is a uh, this is a this is an example of a complex of ion containing bidentate ligands uh, we uh, we uh, abbreviate it to E N. 
uh, ethan diode ion c2o for 2 minus is also uh, uh, by uh, by uh, uh, bidentate ligand that means it forms uh, two dative covalent uh, dative bonds and it is uh, you know it is defined as feox3 that is uh, the ethan diode ion it is abbreviated to ox now here in this one it is uh, coen3 2 so the uh, the uh, nh2 ch2 ch2 nh2 nh2 ch2 ch2 nh2 that is the ligand so as you can see both nh2s of that ligand are joining up with cobalt you can see it here both of these nh2s they are of the same ligand there are only four molecules attached to the cobalt so this one thing is it is a one unit a single unit however this nh2 uh, the nitrogens of the same two nitrogens of the same molecule would form two uh, uh, two uh, dative bonds with the co uh, the cobalt central cobalt as a result we call this bidentate i hope you understood now uh, when you take uh, water uh, the example of a complex is fe h2o6 2 plus then coordination number is 6 then it is going to be octahedral coordination means how many are there how many connect to it then ammonia nh3 octahedral chloride cl minus tetrahedral cyanide uh, coordination number is four so you have to remember these things hydroxide ions then uh, thiocyanate ions scn ethan diet ions so there is a uh, ethan diet means uh, it is oxalate uh, uh, complex it is uh, abbreviated to ox and it is a uh, uh, bidentate as you can see here then one two diamino ethane abbreviated to en then it is once again nh2 then the two nitrogens will make uh, uh, a bidentate ligand Right. I hope you understood. Let's write down a note for this uh, until this point. <coughs> when Um, a central when a central transition metal ion joins up with A molecule that can form dative within brackets coordinate bond such molecule would be known as a ligand and the resulting ion is called a complex ion Example F uh, within inverted comma within uh, square bracket side right? Fe within brackets H2O close bracket 6 and close the square bracket 2 plus. And uh, please draw this, then you can you, you are familiar how to draw it. Then put a star and write down coordination number of a complex is the number of coordinate or dative bonds to the central metal line that is how many are there all together leave a line write down 
some ligands can form two coordinate odative bonds with a transition metal. These are called bidentate ligands. Bidentate ligands. If you uh, please take your time and uh, pause the video and draw this one. Draw this. After you have drawn, write down. But many ligands form just one coordinate bond and are called monodentate ligands. And draw these two. Nickel and cyanide complex and cobalt and chloride complex. And also, this is a chart that you need to uh, remember. Try and remember the shapes and uh, uh, the number of uh, coordination number. Coordination number also, if you can try to remember, that is much better. And also remember, uh, leave a line, put a sign right down. That is after drawing this table 24.3. Post the video, draw table 24.3 and then write down. Larger ligands usually make only four dative bonds. Right, then um, uh, there are some transition metals, for example, copper, silver, gold, they form linear complexes with ligands and uh, they would have a coordination number uh, of 2. Now here, uh, silver has joined with NH3 uh, and we call this a diamine silver, uh, diamine silver rather, diamine silver 1 and it is, uh, it is a cation because it has a positive charge. And uh, there is a dative bond between nitrogen and silver. Uh, so, when you take the charge on the complex, it is going to be the sum of the charges on the central metal ion and on each of the ligand complex. Some would not have any charge at all. For example, uh, CuOH2, H2O4+, uh, H2O4. Now here, because copper has a 2 plus charge, OH minus, uh, the 2 OH minuses would cancel out the charge and as a result there is no charge uh, in it. Uh, write down. Few transition metal ions, example copper, silver, gold form linear complexes, form linear complexes with ligands. As a result, they have a coordination number of 2. Uh, please draw this figure 24.7, diamine silver. Put a star and write down. The charge on a complex is the sum of the charges on the central metal ion and on each ligand in the complex. So, if the ligand has a charge of plus 1 and the central one has a plus 1, then the entire thing is going to be plus 2. I hope that makes sense. Some complexes carry no charge, CuOH2, 
H2O4. Then EDTA4 minus. EDTA4 is actually uh, ethyl diamine tetraacetic acid. So this is uh, this is not exactly something that you need to remember the name of, but they have the ability of <coughs> forming six coordinate bonds to a central transition metal to form to form an octahedral complex. Uh, this is uh, this is a hexadentate ligand because it can make six coordinate bonds. A single EDTA can form. Uh, six bonds, six dative bonds and as a result we call it the hexadentate ligand. Uh, leave a line and write down. There are some extraordinary ions such as EDTA4 minus all capital which can form six coordinate bonds to a central transition metal to form an octahedral complex within brackets hexadentate ligand. If you understood everything that I taught, please do question number uh, 3. If you did not understand, please let me know.